Name is yet another British audio company that Audio Advice is a big fan of. They've been quietly making great audio gear for over 40 years out of their factory in Salisbury, England. They go from the stratosphere of $270,000 for their top of the line mono amps and preamp down to very reasonably priced integrated amps. About five years ago, Name decided to enter the all-in-one speaker category with the Muso series. These were very successful for Name and introduced a whole new group of music lovers to the classic Name sound. Over the last 18 months, Name has come up with a new platform for their music streaming that first showed up in their Unity series of integrated amps and recently made its way into all of their standalone music players. We suspected it would not be too long before the Muso series got an injection of this new tech. But in typical name fashion, they did not just add the new streaming engine, but revamped almost everything in the Muso speakers to greatly improve their performance. Today's review is on the new Muso 2 and Muso QB2. Before we get started, if you enjoy content like this and want to see more like it, please subscribe to our channel. Our channel is dedicated to showcasing the best audio gear from around the world. We do reviews, comparisons, setup guides, and much more. The first thing you notice about the Muso 2 and Muso QB2 is how stunning they are to look at. The contrast of gray, brushed aluminum, sculpted fabric grills, and acrylic accented with subtle lighting is just beautiful. The Muso 2 is much larger than the QB version, sitting at about 25 inches wide, 11 inches deep, and roughly 5 inches tall. The QB2 is more compact, being about an 8 inch cube. Both come with a gray grill and have an optional olive terracotta or peacock grill. The Muso design goal is to give you an all-in-one but great sounding and easy to use speaker system that can access your music in many different ways. Name also wanted the Muso speakers to be able to easily fill up a room with big sound that has no strain as you crank up the volume. Name also took control of the Muso 2 to a new level with a redesigned touch sensitive multifunction knob. The level of build quality on all Name products is about as good as it gets. The new Muso 2 series is impeccably finished and in many ways better put together than just about any piece of audio gear we've ever seen. Both the Muso 2 and the Muso QB2 share a lot of the same features and technology. We'll first go over what they have in common, then get into the differences between the two models. From an access to music standpoint, the Muso 2 series has a ton of options. You'll have Apple AirPlay 2, Chromecast, Bluetooth, UPnP for music files on your network, Spotify Connect, Tidal, and Internet Radio. We're also happy to see they support Rune as well. Physical connections include a mini plug analog audio input, a Toslink digital input, and a USB input. One input found on the Muso 2 but not on the QB2 is an ARC HDMI input. ARC is short for audio return channel, which means if your TV supports this, you can connect it to your TV with an HDMI cable and use the Muso 2 as a soundbar. If you use the HDMI ARC, you get another cool benefit in that your TV's remote will control the volume of the Muso 2 when using the HDMI input. The Muso 2 models also support high-res music files with the capability of playing back WAV, FLAC, ALAC, and AIFF up to 24-bit, 384 kHz. They do not support DSD files, though. Name includes a hardwired Ethernet port on both models, plus the new ones have enhanced their Wi-Fi capability to be dual band. The touch-sensitive interactive wheel has had some function updates. It allows you to choose sources, skip, play, and pause tracks, choose from favorites, and indicates how you might be connected to it. We suspect most people will use the redesigned Name app for control. It is especially fun to use it if you have a large library on a USB or NAS drive, as it fully integrates your library with Tidal. This allows you to see what you own from an artist, then scroll down and see any of their music that's on Tidal. Using the app also allows you to use your speaker in a whole house music system where you can group up to five units together. Multi-room use is also not limited to just the Name app. With support for both AirPlay 2 and Chromecast, you can use your Muso 2 models in either environment with other speakers that support these features. The redesigned engine in the new Muso 2 series has almost 13 times the amount of processing power of the original units, which means their DSP for room compensation works much better than before. While it's not the same as some of the more sophisticated room EQ features found on new home theater receivers, 
it does a good job of compensating for situations where your Muso 2 is against the wall or in a corner. When NAME added the new streaming and DSP engine to the new Muso 2 series, they also partnered with Focal to redesign the speakers used in the Muso 2. This also led to them upgrading the name amplifiers used to power the speakers. The only thing that stayed constant was the tweeter. On the Muso 2 model, the internal cabinet became bigger, giving it the ability to reach deeper into the bottom end. The Muso 2 has two 5-inch oval-shaped woofers in the center, augmented with a port in the base of the unit. These are flanked by the 1-inch dome tweeters and 2-inch mid-range drivers. This layout coupled with the 25 inch width of the Muso 2 throws out a pretty convincing stereo soundstage. The bass you get out of the new Muso 2 will leave you wondering how they pulled off so much accurate bass in its modest size enclosure. The Muso QB2 uses a similar configuration, but it's designed more to fill a room up rather than present a true stereo image. The QB has just one woofer with the two mid-range and tweeter drivers angled off to the sides. This does not give the same stereo effect as the Muso 2, but it does an outstanding job of putting big sound into a modest size room. We tested setting up the new Muso series with both an iOS device and an Android device. The iPhone was easy as any setup we've ever done, but we have to say the Android app is a little quirky. Once you get it set up, the first time it works just like the iPhone app, but there are a few tips we'll give you on how to get up and running quickly with an Android phone. We've put together a quick startup guide for Android users that will send out in the box with your new Muso piece when you buy it from Audio Advice. The Muso 2 has the tightest and deepest bass we've ever heard in an all-in-one music system. We played some of the classic Chicago song Dialogue and the intro bass line was tight, fast, and very deep. Name and Focal really did a great job on the new speaker and amp design to stretch as much sound as possible from the Muso cabinet. Another stunning cut was the old girl from Ipanema. This recording is old school with left and right stereo and the Muso actually showed pretty decent stereo separation for an all-in-one speaker. Name has really upped their game with the new Muso series. These two models are hand down some of the best sounding all-in-one players we've ever heard. If your goal is to simplify things and get great sound out of a single box where all you need is a power cord, you found your answer in the new Muso 2 series. For larger spaces, we do recommend the Muso 2 over the QB, but make no mistake, even the QB blows away most of the competition. If you have any questions on either of these great speakers or any other audio gear, give us a call, head over to our website and chat with one of our experts, or stop into our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina location. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.